Hello everyone, this is Coder Singh and in this tutorial I'll be talking about dependency injection. So in the last tutorial, I literally coded how things work, but if this tutorial is for those who know how things, how actually TypeScript works and dependency injections are, but what's the use of dependency injection? Mm -hmm. Let's suppose I have user service, I have post service, I have my admin service, all these services are there, right? Now, the requirements come from the client or for the pro from the product manager that in user controller, we need to access uh, post service, uh, admin service, and maybe some review service. So all these services can be created easily over here and we can add those services over here as uh, as parameters but the problem arises when where did we initialize the class user controller which is in routes folder the over here we initialize the class oh as you can see that there is no dependency over here it is empty it is literally empty but over here it says user service post service and each and everything so over a period of time, the services keep on increasing and we have to change this file or multiple files because right now we are in user routes, there will be admin routes, there can be vendor routes, there can be um, sub-admin routes, there could be anything, a, a lot of multiple routes where user controller would be, we would be using user controller. So, uh, and in order to initialize the user service, we have to be literally like, you know, const user service and the new user service and then again for this const use a uh, post service so i think so you got my point so so in this case we so in this case we do dependency injection so this is our dependency user service is a dependency to user controller post service is a dependency to a user controller so dependency injection means it injects the dependency automatically to this particular class so as you can see it's question mark it means it can be there it cannot be there so we have to make sure we add question mark we write auto injectable where we have to inject the class which this is our end end class so we have to write auto injectable in this class we go to user service we have to write injectable over there we go to post service, we have to write, uh, we go to post service, uh, one second, we go to post service and we have to write uh, injectable over there as well. Similarly, we have models in it. We don't have to initialize the models. It is automatically injectable. And I would highly recommend that you guys can take a, take a pull of this code or get, take a get clone of this code because, and switch to this branch called branch 0.1. In branch zero, we I have nothing. Uh, like my project, my project st starts from scratch. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. I hope you liked my tutorial. If you like, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, do do comment. It really motivates me to create new content for you guys. And uh, I have Instagram where I keep on posting coding things. Uh, I really recommend you guys to follow my Instagram as well as my Twitter. The links would be in the description below. Thank you so much, guys. And the coding. Coding link will be in the description below too.